Did you know 82% of whey protein we consume is converted into sugar or body fat? And only 18% is used to make new protein in our body? It is. This is because of whey's amino acid profile, which is very different to what our body needs. Protein is made inside our body from the amino acids we get from protein. But 82% of the amino acids in whey aren't used by the body. They're converted into sugar or body fat, the actual calories of whey. This causes us to build excess body fat, and it's one of the main reasons we have to do so much cutting. Perfect amino is the exact amino acid profile necessary to build new protein, but without excess amino acids that the body doesn't use and then convert into sugar or fat. One serving of perfect aminos builds the same amount of lean muscle as 30 grams of whey, but without caloric impact. So we can take this during a cut or a fasted workout and not only keep our lean muscle while losing body fat, but even increase that lean muscle. You need to take this. I mean, I know exactly, I know what he's saying. Obviously he's, he's selling something there and he's just, he's completely blowing everything uh, out, of, out, of, out of proportion and context. He should know that I did write the book on amino acids in sports. So I was the first one to ever commercialize a, a product of just the, there are nine essential aminos, but there's only eight that are involved in triggering the, uh, in initiating muscle protein synthesis at what we call mTOR, mammalian target of rapamycin. Okay, that is, that, though, there are eight amino acids that are involved, the ones he's talking about here, even though he's probably got tryptophan named, and tryptophan is not one of them, even though it's an essential. Mm -hmm. You only need the eight. And these Volpe, Tipton, all the smartest researchers in the world are the ones that discovered this in the 90s, and I got fortunate enough to be invited to write the text on it. I wrote the text on it for postgraduate stuff for CRC Press, and uh, I mean, other amino acids in sports, and I discovered it and I commercialized the product in 2003. Got a couple of awards for it too. And it's, it's what it was. It's, those eight, it's what he's talking about there. But yeah. there's a problem with this. The bullshit that you just heard about <laughs> turning to sugar or fat. Well, the only way any protein turns to fat is you're eating too many calories. So what's the context you're eating it? Yeah. Okay. Those eight amino acids are the ones, and let's just, he may throw in the ninth, but hopefully he doesn't have much tryptophan because that would be a bad thing. Um, the eight that were done in the studies, so for astronauts, the older population, people that didn't work out, that actually, these are the amino acids. And he, well, I'll tell you another thing he's correct about, those amino acids, it's, you can get, for in ours, because we use the right dosage, of course, because, again, I wrote the whole thing on it, so no one would know that better than me, uh, the right dosage, it takes about 40 grams of whey yeah. to get those eight at that number, yeah. right? And then he's saying, what he's saying, he's kind of spinning. So without all the other stuff, well, I got news for you. You still need the other amino you know, acids in yeah. your body or game over because those things are the things that complete the synthesis process. They're non-essential. So he was going to say, well, you can make them from the essentials. Yeah, but non-essentials, are they go to all different things body. They, they're signals in the body. They're all parts of other things that happen. Glutamine feeds our gut. I mean, these are all things that each individual amino acid has its own action in the body, yeah. whether it's non-essential or not. And, and if you needed to have the essentials you took in a little puny dose like I see he I'm giving there, then uh, you're not going to, and that's all you're taking in yeah. and all the proteins, you're in trouble. So again, I, 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 he's playing off, you know, he's using a fear factor here with all that. Protein is never converted to, to fat in the body. No part of protein is converted to fat in the body, okay? Unless you're eating too many calories. Yeah. And the sugar thing, what we call, they're glucogenic and ketogenic amino acids, which means that protein being the only macronutrient between protein, fats, and carbs that can be used for energy and it can be used to build tissues, right? Yeah. And it can be used for signals and all the hormones we make and all this, that's what, that's what it does. Okay, so, but when your body needs energy because you're starving, of course it's going to be able to break down the protein. It doesn't care how big your biceps are. Yeah. <laughs> it cares that you stay alive. So your cells need the energy, so it breaks down the amino acids. Some go through the uh, Krebs cycle as a sugar, and some enter uh, the TCA cycle as a fat. And those are called ketogenic ones and, and glucogenic. So that's and it's spinning that into sugar. Yeah. Right. But it's, it's an energy molecule where we extract electrons into the chain and produce ATP when your energy levels are low. So this is all out of context, 100%. And this chart here, um, where he, the only thing is correct in this chart is the fact that he's got the 99% uh, that his his little formula here, um, which I think you're going to show me in a bit. But hang on, uh, that those things are those are going to go to MDO. They, they actually will end up bypassing, and this is all in, uh, this is all in the chapter. With, that, that you know, real people read, you know, instead of contorting information. 
Uh, they actually bypass splanchnic extraction, get right to, to the muscle cell. And what we're trying to do, we're flooding the muscle. It's called uh, um, hyperaminoacidemia. Flooding it with, from the extracellular side, pushing in through so there's a flow going into mTOR, crossing off all the signals. So when muscle contraction is taking place, body kind of shuts down, tearing up muscle, we're sending a signal to go ahead and build it. So that's the only thing. He's obviously probably copied a formula. Or maybe you read my chapter or whatever many years ago. <laughs> but the bottom line is that part is correct. The rest of this stuff here, catabolic, all the way down here, uh, this is like, it just, it's comical. That's the, the comical side of this whole thing. So again, you could, there's no, almost every athlete uses whey protein. Just yeah. we know that. And I don't think they're fat. Yeah. <laughs> this guy, every bodybuilder cuts with whey protein. They're losing body fat. So there's just, he's just spinning it wrong. And, just, and I, don't, I think he's, I, I think he's trying to hold on to the truth, but get scare you into doing something different. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's all, that's all he's trying to do there. So that's it. I mean, that, that, that's all of it is. And again, no scientists, they would just laugh at him. They would just turn that off.